first one is called, I grew up at the Palmerston North Speedway because my father was the commentator. <laughs> AKA, I wanted to grow up and marry Dave Evans who drove the tank, number five, best stock car ever. <laughs> my father began commentating the year before I was born. I started going to Speedway when I was a few months old, placed in the driver's seat of Keith Marriott's car because those big bucket seats make for excellent cots. <laughs> when Keith needed to race, someone would take me out and hold me till his car came back to the pits and I went back into the driver's seat while the pit crew worked around me. Once I left Keith a warm, wet seat for his race. <laughs> I don't know if he won or not. <laughs> as I grew up, I took it as normal that I could ignore the queue at the food stand and position myself off to the side of the serving window until one of the ladies would hand me a hot dog on a stick with a squirt of tomato sauce on top. One night when I was seven, I was sitting in the stands and I vomited hot dogs down the back of the shirt of the man sitting in front of me. <laughs> He was very nice about it. <laughs> Some of the vomit got onto my white purse with a diamante clasp and the stain never came out. I had loved that purse till then. At various points during the night, I would go up into the commentator's box being very, very careful to open and close the door quietly. And I'd climb up onto one of the high stools there so that I could watch the race next to my father. Sometimes I would do the lap scoring for him. Every time we got home from Speedway, I would need to have a bath because the grit of the track gets into your scalp and ears and nostrils and the creases of your skin, no matter where you've been sitting. My father retired from commentating last season after 45 years because his knee and hip that both need replacing can't make it up and down the ladder to his commentator's box anymore. My creases and orifices have been grit free since I was 13. Thank <laughs> you.